telling us what we're supposed to be doing. Can you imagine that? That's a good feeling. He came on the Sabbath day and said, I found what they're supposed to be doing. He came on the holy day, the Passover, the Feast on Living Bread. And with, with knowledge, you understand, he's going to come back in, in one of them days. I think it's what? No, I ain't going to put it out. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. For the Sabbath, Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. Yeah. Y'all understand what that means. He gonna make you ruler if you call up over the, in, the, in the first resurrection to run the government of Jesus. Not God the Father, because his government already been established. He got angels over there. The government's gonna be here on earth. Because the angels got kind of pissed off with God. Say, what is this man that you so mindful of that you get him subject over me? Yes, yes. He is puny. He is flesh. Look, why you giving that? I wanted that. I got more power. Mm. But he didn't understand that this is the operation of the God family. We all are going to be gods one day if we make the resurrection. All of us. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. You with that? Yes, sir. Let's see where and what we gonna be ruling. Now he say he gonna make you rule, right? They gonna shock some y'all. Some people out there in TV land they gonna shock you. You over there fighting for reparation? You over there fighting uh, Black Lives Matter? You over there fighting for rights? This is my right. You can't tell me what to do. You ain't got no rights. If you understand the book, this is going to be your right you're searching for right now. This is what I want right here. Isaiah 14 and verse 1. Let's show you the ruling party, John and the kingdom, the government of Jesus. Verse 1, go ahead. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob mm -hmm. and will yet choose Israel. Jacob and Israel is the same people. Same people. The Israelite, you and me. Israel. Go ahead. And set them in their own land. Set them where? In their own land. Wait, wait. They told me Jesus is going to set us in heaven. This is the stupid stuff, the doctrine going on now. If you feel bad about believing in the scriptures over your pastor, you deserve to go to hell. No, Jim, you got a lot of stuff. I don't know why God, God won't let that prosper. <laughs> Yeah, people saying this all the time. He got a lot of stuff. She got a lot of things. No, Satan got a lot of power. He prospered you. You can have some of the same thing too if you just believe the book instead of going back and forth. What he said now, he was set them in it's their own land. land. Go ahead. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. He said, even the strangers are going to join with them. Now these strangers, boy, you want to be a slave master? Here, go right here. Go ahead. And the people shall take them, bring them to their place, and the house of Israel sh shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. Do you understand that? Wow. Just like they put us in slavery back in the day 400 years ago, we're going to do the exact same thing, but it's going to be righteous. We're going to treat them right. We're not going to castrate them like they castrated our men. We're not going to cut the babies out of the women's stomach and they stomp on their heads. We're not going to do all that. We're not going to put two horses together and, and tie the man up rope and pull them apart. We ain't going to do that. We're going to do it righteous, but we're going to possess them. Because why? Israel or the so-called liberals are going to be running the whole world. Hallelujah. What you worried about? Yeah. You worry about this little simple government right here going to perish when it's fire hit? No, this right here going to last a thousand years. And then when the Father kingdom come back, it's going to last even longer. But we all going to be gods. Yes, sir. Go ahead. And they shall take them captives. You know what a captive is? You're in slavery. <laughs> Donald Trump going to be somebody's slave if you make it. Prince Charles and all the Queen of England, y'all looking at this black, well, it's so, well, she ain't black, but she's a, she's Gentile, the black girl that married this British, British boy. 
Mm. Over here in England, they're going to be our slaves. Look at the sister came up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. And and take them captive whose captives they, they were. Mm -hmm. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Who the oppressors now? Gentiles. Gentile. European. We're gonna take them. We're gonna bring them under the authority. You my slave now. I ain't worried about what Mr. Child tell me to do now. Yes, I'm Mr. Child, I do it. Yes, sir. You tell me to get a license? Yes, sir. You tell me I was speeding? Yes, sir. I was speeding. Yes, sir. You got to obey. Got to obey. He said, what? Obey the laws of the land, right? Yes. And a lot of times, we just take a quick note to understand, stop being so rebellious when people pull you. You know you were speeding. That's right. You know you ain't had your seatbelt on. You know it. You want to come up with a cop out. Oh, man, he put me on because I'm black. No, you were doing wrong. <laughs> a lot of them. But he telling you, we're going to be the ones that are in the ruling party in government, they are going to rule over the oppressors. Come on. Hallelujah. Fight for this. Thank you. Instead of forming all these little groups that die off, the Black Panther Party, the, the Tulsa thing that's on, the, uh, what do they call this thing? Uh, Black Wall Street they got going on. I might get reparations for, for things that happen in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I see a lot of stuff. I'm like her back. I sit on the, on, the, on, the, on the city looking at everything. But this is what he's saying right here. Fight for this. Go ahead. Verse 3. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. Yes. And from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. You gonna have rest? You don't worry about the cop popping up in your house because you look like the suspect. You don't have rest because you ain't worried about the cop shooting me in the back because you look like the suspect. It's going to be total rest right now. It ain't rest for us. When you worry about your kid when they're going out on the streets, you're thinking that, oh man, I hope they do the right thing when I talk to them. Don't back talk to the officer. Don't do all this stuff. That's what I'm thinking about when my kids go out there. I hope they're doing the right thing. Don't be being rebellious to these people because they will shoot you at a drop of a dime. They showed us this all over, all over the land. Yes. Yeah. Sit up there, running your mind like you got some rights. Shut up. Yes, sir. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, ma'am. Do it. Keep your hands on the stair wheel. Officer, I'm reaching back to get my registration. You tell him. I'm reaching in my back pocket. You tell him. I'm reaching to get this. Also, I have a gun in my car right there. It's on, it's, you show him. Said, so I got rights. All I got to do is put this piece of paper on, on the windshield. I ain't got to talk to him. Keep listening to them people. <laughs> so many people want to be a, a, a forerunner. We want to be like the Moors, the ones that know all the laws. They get killed too. Fight for this government. This government of Jesus. You're going to have peace, rest, security. Why? Go ahead. One, uh, verse 4. Mm -hmm. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon mm -hmm. and say, How has the oppressor ceased? What is some of the king of Babylon? This whole Babylonian system right. is going to be torn down. Gentiles, Nebuchadnezzar's sons. It, it is ceased. When is when Jesus come upon the throne for that one thousand years, he set up his government, they ain't gonna have no power. You listen to me now, boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. The golden city ceased. Uh -huh. The Lord has brought the, the Lord has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. What golden city? That's the Catholic city. The one that sit on the four hills over there in, in Rome. That's who everybody get their orders from, whether you believe it or not. That's, that's Satan headquarters. Yes, he said all this stuff. He the one got you going to church on Sunday. He the one got you celebrating all these 
Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving. He got you doing it. Well, he said, I'm going to cease that. I'm going to break him. Go ahead. He who smote the people in wrath. Verse 5. The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked mm -hmm. and the scepter of the rulers. He broke him. He going to break him down. Why? Because that's when we are slaves. The white folks. And the government going to be some, well, the white folks. We're going to keep it like that. They're the oppressors. Go ahead. He who smote the people in wrath with a continuous stroke. He who shot Israel once they had their hands up. He who shot all these black kids, put the boys on the ground, black boys on the ground, ain't did that. That's what he's talking about right here. If you got some understanding, the wrath with a continuous stroke, don't give us no chance. Two people, one black, one white. White man raped one, he get probation six months. Black man raped one, he get life to 15 years of life. Both of them wrong. You see it all the time. I had this black woman locked up in the early 60s and 50 or 60. She sold the TV, gave her 30 years. Life for stealing the TV. The Jim Crow era, all this stuff. If you know anything about the Jim Crow era, talking about the era where they couldn't legally enslave you, so they came up with laws to say that if a, it's an Israelite or a black man or woman who commit a crime, you can put them back in jail and work it on the plantation. Or they didn't have a job. They got the same thing now called Amendment 13. Look at it on Netflix. Same exact thing going on. But well, anyway, keep going. He who smote the people in the wrath with a continuing stroke, yes, sir. he that ruled the nation is anger. Ang in anger, mm -hmm. he is persecuted and none hindered. Yes, sir. He's going to break them. Go ahead. The whole earth is at rest. Yes. And it's quiet. They break forth into singing. This is the 1,000 year in Jesus' government. The whole earth is at rest. That's right. Rest. This is what you're shooting for. Last verse. Psalms 149. Let's get a little more detail on that rest. It ain't going to be where y'all think y'all can do whatever you want to do now. I'm just, I'm just explaining it to you. You gotta follow the rules. Or you gonna have some people around there ready to kill you. <laughs> now, if you break the laws around this time, well, you got to be on the sin for yourself. Satan gonna be locked up. Revelation chapter 20 said, he said he's gonna cast Satan in chains. He's gonna be locked up for 1,000 years. So this earth can be rested without the the biggest risk breaker, Satan. Satan. Locked up. Locked up. Let's get a little more detail on this rest of Jesus' government. Psalms 149, verse 1. This last one. Go ahead. Praise ye the Lord. Mm -hmm. Sing unto the Lord a new song. And his praise in the congregation of saints. This is the congregation of the saints. Praising the Lord because the earth is at rest. I'll be praising too. Go ahead. Let Israel rejoice in him mm -hmm. that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Yes, sir. Let them praise his name in the dance. Mm -hmm. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. We're going to be at the party because you ain't going to have to lock your door no more. You're going to be paid righteously. It ain't gonna be you have to worry about your kids and getting being killed, or raped, or molested, all this stuff. It's gonna be peaceful. You're gonna be able to play with snakes, play with lions, play with bears, because it's gonna be a covenant with the animals. The animals ain't gonna bother you. Peace. Go ahead. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. Yes, sir. He will beautify the meat with salvation. Yes, sir. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Mm -hmm. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Yes, sir. We sing. Go ahead. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. 
You praising God out your mouth, but also it's a two-edged sword. When you jump and mess up, he's going to kill them, he's going to punish them. Don't get it twisted. Israel likes to have a party and think that they're going to get away with something. Have your fun, but you have your fun within the laws of God. Go ahead. What is what, what this two-edged sword going to do? To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. So you're still going to have people in Jesus' kingdom of government gonna still going to be cut it up, but they're going to be very few. The stuff they're going to become, they're going to be small, but he's going to exit out so quick. Kill them so fast. Down with it. Go ahead. You pick it six up on the Sabbath day? Deal with it. Kill him. That was, that was Moses waiting on that. He waited until the Lord told him what to do. What God told him to do? Kill him. Pick it up six. Because he's trying to be righteous, man. Go ahead. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. Come on, Donald Trump, get over here and pick this cow. Come on, Queen Elizabeth, get over here and, and, and breastfeed my babies. Come on. This is what's gonna happen. The same exact way they did you. Same exact way. You're gonna be working for us. Oh no, not the white man, Jim. No, you got it wrong, Jim. Not the white man. This is what the book said. Who are our oppressors? It's your land, Israel. We run this land. Go ahead. Verse 9. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor, this honor mm -hmm. have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. You want this honor. Everybody, if you don't want this, you're in the wrong place. You stuck on stupid. You really stuck on stupid now. If you don't want this, you're going to be rolling. You got to be worried about the lake of fire. And the lake of fire will be existing during Jesus' thousand years. You're going to actually see people burning. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? One more, one more verse, man. I'm going to let y'all one more. Isaiah chapter 66. Let me show you the first trade. Let me see if Isaiah 66 is exactly right. Yeah, Isaiah 66. You got to know how this stuff go down. Oh, yeah, I heard it, Jeff. I heard that before. But do you follow it? Can you teach it to somebody? Right. Can you really teach it to somebody? I heard it because I heard it. I already know. You don't know Jack. Isaiah 66 and verse 22. 22, 23, 24. Let me show you in Jesus' kingdom that the lake of fire will be in existence. Verse 22, go ahead. Yeah. For as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me, mm -hmm. says the Lord. Yes, sir. So shall your seed and your name remain. So he, he set the tone where he told you the time and the place. New heaven, new earth. We in the old heaven, the old earth right now. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, mm -hmm. and from one Sabbath to another, Mm -hmm. Shall all flesh come to worship before me? Yes, sir. That's the Lord. Now we come to worship before him. What else are we going to see? Go ahead. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me. Mm -hmm. For their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched. And they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. So we're walking up. Worshiping on the Sabbath in Jerusalem, and we looking over there and said, Thou going to still burning. Thou going to the beast and the false prophet. That's who's going to be in the lake of fire before Satan even get there. He's not going to be in there first. The beast and the false prophet are going to be there. And we be walking up in Jerusalem, seeing the lake burning. If you don't know where the lake of fire is, it just told you right here on earth. And people that ain't, these pastors ain't teaching these folks this. They're not. 
Well, I hope y'all got some understanding. We're going to stand, well, we'll get an offering up and uh, read the announcements after that. Should have been here. <laughs>